Hey, the purpose of this video is to show you MACE 2016 R1's capability to connect to offline OpenStreetMap databases. We've developed two different databases, one which serves up raster representations of the OpenStreetMap data set. This is similar to what you'd see in Google Earth or OpenStreetMap or MapQuest. Uh, then the other one is a worldwide database, vector database, of all the major roads on the planet. So the first thing I'll do here is I'll connect to the uh, full planet road database. You see it only takes about a second to connect. The database is running on a different computer, not on the same computer that uh, this MACE instance is running on. It's running on a Windows computer across the room. Uh, it runs on each, uh, each database runs on a separate Linux virtual machine. We use uh, Oracle's VirtualBox. Um, and it's just a TCIP connection. So as long as your MACE instance can communicate with the other computer using TCP IP, um, then, in, then you'll be able to serve, see the data from your MACE instance, serve up the data from your uh, remote computer to any MACE connected to that network. Um, so now all I have to do is zoom in somewhere. Um, we'll zoom in to Vegas, and once I zoom in far enough, I see my road vectors appear, and you can see as I pan around. It's uh, very fast, very performant. Um, under the covers, this is a Postgres, PostGIS database. Um, MACE had to be modified. Um, this new version of MACE has a, a professional sort of grade GIS component under the covers that helps us access and retrieve this data. And so now all I'm doing is clicking on the road vectors like you've probably done before with much more limited data sets just to show you that MACE does in fact uh, recognize these vectors as road vectors. Um, now let's uh, let's just go somewhere else. Let's uh, go see where else we've got roads, which is everywhere. So let's go down to Lima, where my wife is from, and Lima, Peru. Bam, roads. Got a railroad going through, which of course is also a valid road vector. Oh, excuse me, a valid vector. I can attach, uh, uh, you know, uh, vehicles or train or whatever I want to that. Uh, now let's go ahead and let's look at uh, Northern Africa. Uh, there's Marrakesh, there's Casablanca, Rhodes. Uh, let's go in here. Rhodes. Let's go ahead and do another road attachment here. Alright, attach to the road vector. Okay, and uh, now let's go look at Europe. Let's see what we got. Let's go over to, let's go over to Poland. Let's go look at uh, Warsaw. Okay. Um, again, you know, roads. Everywhere you look, I've got major roads. I've got railroads. I'll show you one other thing, which is, um, uh, let's come down to Australia. It's good. It's in the southern hemisphere. Um, let's come down here. We'll look at the coast. Let's go down to uh, Perth. I'll come in. Uh, what I want to show you is I'm going to now connect to the um, raster tiles. And we'll zoom in a bit. And you'll see that the uh, vector roads... Oh, I panned too soon. Okay. The uh, vector roads are designed to match the color of the raster map underneath the covers there. Um, so when I zoom in, you'll see um, I've got you know, the green roads are, are, those are in the database, those are called, I think they're called uh, trunks, they're major highways. The blue ones are, um, are uh, I think those are called motorways, they're also major roads. Uh, then the, the red is um, primary roads, and then the, the tan here, those are secondary roads. <clears throat> um, and so those match, if I were to bring up my layer manager here and um, just turn off uh, Australia roads briefly, and you'll see that the raster presentation underneath matches exactly. Um, but I did want to show you a little bit more about this raster presentation underneath the covers because I think it shows some, some a few compelling capabilities. Um, the amount of data that is presented is extensive um, to the point where you, you even see building footprints for large areas of the world. So it presents data that doesn't exist even on some of the, you know, uh, lower scale military um, aeronautical charts. 
So I think it's very valuable. Um, also, I did want to show one other thing under projection here. I don't know if you notice the text on the raster maps isn't super easy to read. That's because um, this feature may not have been used a lot in the past. I think it's going to become more popular. Mace can reproject on the fly. Um, in reality, this um, uh, this rasterized OpenStreetMap data here um, is natively in Spherical Mercator, so it actually is much clearer and performs much faster if you have MACE in the Spherical Mercator projection. And MACE will now remember your preferred projection when you close it and restart it. So these two databases combined um, really present, I think, a quantum leap forward in the terms of the GIS data that is now available uh, and really make it so that you can quickly create a mission for mission rehearsal or just for uh, training purposes uh, pretty much anywhere on the planet um, now that we've got access to this um, really superior GIS data. All right, thank you for watching the video.